Ugly Inside TV outside St Mary's. Hayden, really disappointing this afternoon. Southampton nil, Watford 2. Played us at our own game and uh, taking the piss really, weren't they, in the end, very end? Pretty much the Olays at the end by the away fans. It's just summed up, really. A shocking performance. Um, I would like to make the point about that I'm not one to criticise specific players usually, but Fraser Forster, everyone seems to criticise him a lot and I think today in particular it's got to him, I think, in his head. So, either, I don't know, it's just, I don't know who to blame, to be honest, the manager, the players or what. But there's something wrong there, clearly, that needs changing. And what I noticed in the first half in particular, they were very compact, uh, Watford were playing through the middle, we yeah. were playing wide as we usually do. And that physicality in midfield, we just went up for it. Watford a very strong side in their core of their midfield. Yeah, they've got a lot of tall players with quite strong physical presence in the midfield and defence. So even up front as well with uh, Andre Gray, he's powerful and quick. Mm. So uh, it's just we just didn't compete physically. We didn't compete on on the floor as well with the keeping the ball. They probably had at least 60% possession, did they? Yeah, well, we only got one shot on target, and uh, half-time yeah. it was 45, 55, I think. I haven't seen the stats at the very end, but oh. Watford really dominated this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, Crystal Palace played tomorrow away at Burnley, potentially uh, four, four losses in a row, potentially. We're not going to hold a can of chickens yet, but <laughs> Crystal Palace away next week. How are you feeling? Uh, you've got to stay optimistic, because it's Frank De Boer there. He's not doing a particularly good job. Have we judged a bit about De Boer? Because he was massively linked with us in the summer. Yeah, I, I was trying to hope that we wouldn't get him, to be honest, because he had a shocking job at Inter Milan, but that's the team we played in the Europa League, wasn't it? Uh, and they they didn't even look particularly impressive for an Inter Milan side that's used to, historically a big club. And they're struggling in Syria since they gave, appointed him, and then they replaced him, and now they're looking more because they made some signings and stuff. But anyway, back to us. Uh, Pellegrino needs to decide what his best 11 is and stick with it. I don't uh, Playing one up front, it's, some people say I'm playing two up front, but you, it's, at the end of the day you've got to compact the midfield and keep the ball. And the best way to do that is to play either five in midfield or have four in midfield that are physical enough to keep the ball and then have the one up top that can actually hold the ball and play with them mm. rather than being isolated and making runs in behind and not being fed the ball enough. Prediction for Palace, mate? Uh, I'm just going to hope for a draw, so nil-nil. I'll say nil-nil. Nice one, Hayden.